3CX phone system is a robust product, but interfaces with a variety of devices and services. Issues encountered can very often be traced to a component which is not configured correctly. Identifying the correct configuration parameters for a device or provider is a key part of delivering the best telephony experience to a user. With the enormous array of devices and providers available on the market today, it is impossible to create configuration guides and templates for all of them. 3CX has chosen a number of items which satisfy the basic usability criteria. They must be easily available, practical to configure, cost effective, popular and compatible with the SIP and RTP standards in general and with 3CX in particular. A supported device or provider is one which 3CX has included in its periodic testing program and which 3CX has prepared a configuration guide or configuration template to provide all the functionality that the device or provider can deliver to the PBX. 3CX will provide support to all devices and providers in the list and will assist users to troubleshoot issues with supported items in the supported configuration. 3CX support and testing staff have considerable experience with the devices and providers in the list and can therefore respond to issues more quickly. We strongly recommend that you use supported devices and providers to obtain the best experience with 3CX phone system. A device is vendor supported when 3CX already knows that it can be made to work but is not included inside 3CX's periodic testing program. Someone who chooses to implement a vendor supported device or provider to interoperate with 3CX phone system must be aware that he must contact the vendor for assistance with configuring the device with 3CX phone system and for troubleshooting any interoperability issues relating to these devices or providers. Depending on the issue, 3CX support will limit support assistance to issues directly related to the internal operation of 3CX phone system and will refer you to your vendor for issues related to configuration and interoperability. Most unsupported devices or providers that comply with the SIP and RTP standard can be made to work with 3CX phone system, but since these are largely untested, they cannot be considered supported devices and are outside the scope of 3CX support. To assist users who wish to use an unsupported device or provider, 3CX provides a best effort configuration service. You can request a configuration service by contacting our sales department at sales at 3CX.com. Please note that if you intend to request a configuration service for a VoIP provider service, you will be expected to have completed some preliminary tests located on this web URL and have them ready to be submitted to 3CX as part of the process. Most issues can be classified very simply. Either something doesn't work at all, for example a phone does not register or cannot make or receive calls, or something does not work correctly. For example, calls connect but drop when trying to hold or resume or transfer. Or another example, a call connects but audio quality is not good or one of the parties cannot hear the other. The first type of issue, where something does not work, is typically easier to identify or troubleshoot and for this type of issue the server activity log very often contains the information necessary to identify or sometimes the very fact that it does not contain the information can help identification. The second type of issue, where something is working but not correctly, is sometimes hard to identify or even track, especially when the issue is intermittent, with no apparent way to replicate the issue predictably. This is where some more in-depth sleuthing may be necessary to troubleshoot the issue, including an in-depth analysis of the verbose log files, and possibly also analysis of the network traffic being sent and received by the PBX. The server activity log will show messages about the call requests it has received, the routing options it has available, the destination chosen to deliver a call, and the status of certain elements of the PBX. These details provided by the messages generated by the logging engine built into the PBX can be increased by setting the logging mode to verbose, 
with an additional byproduct being even more detail being generated in additional log files that are not immediately viewable in the server activity log, but are saved for possible analysis by support staff or anyone who may be able to interpret the contents. When a call cannot be delivered, or some other process cannot be performed, the server activity log will very often report a message that will be indicative of the reason, obviously with the exception of failed requests that never reach the PBX at all. So if a call cannot be delivered to an extension, because it is switched off, the PBX will report that the destination is unregistered. If the PBX cannot identify the source of an inbound call, it will report with an appropriate message, and if verbose logging is enabled, it will also report the full contents of the SIP message that triggered the event. So if you examine the log messages generated while the issue is replicated, you will very often find that the PBX will be telling you what action it has performed and the reason why. You can set verbose logging from the advanced settings page of the 3CX management console. Setting logging to verbose will rapidly generate very large log files, especially when the PBX is processing a large number of simultaneous calls. Verbose logging is only intended for troubleshooting issues and requires special attention and monitoring to ensure that the machine does not run out of hard disk space. Remember to restart the 3CX1 system service for the new logging settings to be activated. 3CX phone system records its log files inside C document and settings all users application data 3CX data logs for Windows XP and Windows 2003 server operating systems or inside C program data 3CX data logs for Windows Vista and Windows 2008 server operating systems. In cases when a verbose log file becomes too large and needs to be rolled over the logger will move the file into the backup subfolder of the log files path and will create a new file for current logging. 3CX Phone System includes a backup and restore application which also allows you to create a packaged support information file for submission to support staff for analysis. Keep in mind that the support information file will not include any of the log files inside the backup folder so during an examination of a support issue it may sometimes be necessary to require additional files. To create a useful support information file for reporting issues you need to do the following. First, set the PBX into verbose logging mode. Then restart the 3CX phone system service to implement the logging change. Wait for about 5 minutes for all devices to register with 3CX phone system. Now, replicate the issue you are facing, noting the exact time, according to the PBX machine, at which the issue occurred. The number called from, the dialed number, and a step-by-step -step description of how to replicate the issue. From the PBX machine, now start the 3CX Backup and Restore tool. Specify a location to save the file. Generate the support information file and you now have collected enough information with which to create a support ticket. Wireshark is a free network traffic monitoring tool which, when available together with the verbose logs, can allow support staff to identify certain issues more easily. A Wireshark capture can sometimes dramatically reduce the time taken to identify and analyze an issue. It is relatively simple to generate a file that contains network traffic, also called a capture. Simply launch the Wireshark application, select which network interface you would like to capture traffic for from the Capture Interfaces menu option and start the capture. After you have replicated the issue being diagnosed, stop the Wireshark capture and save the file in PCAP format for future reference and for attachment to a support ticket.